Good morning and welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey if this is the first time we're meeting. And today we are going to be making a caramel Anzac slice in uh, remembrance of our Anzac soldiers um, who fought in the war. So in Australia and New Zealand um, we um, take stock and remember our fallen soldiers um, on the 25th of April every year. So um, I thought, well, I'm going to come up with a recipe. Um, I have shared my Anzac biscuits before, and this is going to be a take on a different recipe that I have, and I'm going to just try and lop a couple of recipes together to come up with this Anzac caramel slice. So um, time will tell whether it will work, but I'm sure it will because, um, as you know, I love um, doing a little bit of um, a little bit of this and a little bit of that to make up um, a new recipe. So I will leave the recipe in the description um, that you can find uh, in the description of this video. Um, all right, so what we're going to need is um, some butter and we need some coconut and rolled oats, flour and sweetened condensed milk. So we need a ton of that. So we're going to make up a caramel and a base and a topping. All right, so um, as you can see, I'm in a different kitchen. I'm still down at my daughter and brother-in-law's home um, visiting with my grandchildren. And um, I decided to stay a little bit longer because why not, right? It's school holidays. So um, I'm cooking in their kitchen today and you may notice it from um, another series of um, videos that I did where I was using this kitchen and we also cooked with the kids at Christmas time. So anyway, let's get to making this um, yummy slice and um, hopefully you enjoy it. So the first thing we need to do is cream the butter and the sugar together and um, I'm going to use the good old hand beater to do that and you want the butter to be softened so um, we're using um, 225 grams of butter so I'm just going to soften some of that butter and then I'm going to grab the sugar but I will bring you down for it as well. So here's my butter, I'll just get roughly 225 grams, 1, 2, 25, I'm just going to pop that in the microwave. Right, so I've got my 225 grams of butter softened, it's not melted, <coughs> and I want around half a cup of brown sugar. want a little bit of vanilla essence and now I'm going to beat those two together until they're light and fluffy That's nice, nicely combined there. And now we're going to add two cups of plain flour. One cup of rolled oats, quick oats. So that's what they look like. And a tablespoon of golden syrup. Um, I do have a video on how to make golden syrup if you have not seen that before. It's quite a, a thick syrup. Um, it's um, a lot of people confuse it with maple syrup. It's not used in an application like maple syrup is. It's a whole different thing and it's used quite a lot in baking. So I will link that video also at the end um, and in the description. Um, but you can make it really easily at home yourself. 
So this has been in the fridge, so it's really, really thick. And then we're going to mix to combine all the ingredients. Now I'm just going to mix this. Just get a wooden spoon. And you're just going to mix to combine, basically. Um, you might even find doing it with your hands easier. Just gonna wash my hands and then combine with my hands. Sometimes it helps to use your hands to really mix the butter into the dry ingredients. So the heat of your hand just helps together. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands again and then we're going to put about three quarters of the mixture in the bottom of a square tin. I've just grab some baking paper and score it up. I'm going to grab about three quarters of it. Pop it in the bottom. Try and have it as evenly on the bottom as you can. Now we're going to make the caramel. I'm going to wash my hands again and we'll make the caramel. So for the caramel, oh, and I've put the oven on fan bake at um, 180. And um, if it's if you don't have fan bake, just do um, normal bake at 180. All right. So we need a tin of condensed milk. And we're just we're just going to basically heat all these ingredients through. Um, along with 50 grams of butter and two tablespoons of golden syrup. So I'll just turn that down actually. So you just want to basically um, keep going until the butter is melted as it will continue to um, cook in the oven but you want to stir it constantly so that you don't burn the condensed milk. So we're just going to stir that until the butter is melted. I'm adding one more extra tablespoon of golden syrup That's now three tablespoons of golden syrup, one can of condensed milk, and 50 grams of butter. Okay, the butter has melted, and that's what it looks like. So now I'm just going to pour all of that over the top. thin at the moment and that's fine and then with the leftover topping I'm just going to thoroughly mix that together and then we're going to pop blobs of it over the top
There we go. And we're just going to pop this into the oven and um, we just want it to be golden brown and for the caramel to, to set. So it'll be roughly about half an hour but I will um, put the timer on and I will check it as well. So nice, nice and quick easy slice to put together and um, great way to use up rolled oats as well and oh I forgot to put the coconut in. I'm just going to put a sprinkling on the top but it should have been in the base. Half a cup of this should have been in the original base mix. But as I've said before, I'm, I'm not going to edit out my mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes and I certainly do too. But yeah, so you need to add half a cup of coconut, desiccated coconut into the original base mix. Chuck that back in the oven. Luckily I realised so soon. Basically the, um, because basically the taste of Anzac biscuits is the rolled oats, the coconut and the golden syrup. It's the combination of those flavours that make the Anzac biscuits what they are. So can't believe I forgot that. Never to mind. Um, Alright, so that's that. We will give it 20 minutes to half an hour and I will show you it when it's finished and then we'll um, have a test taste together. But I reckon this will be quite a good combination. And I'll write the recipe up, as I'm sure it's gonna work out just fine. Right, so it took about 20, no, 35 minutes to cook. And I've let it cool down. But this is the slice here. We will slice into it and have a taste. So there's the Anzac caramel slice. First time I've made it, so we'll give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's seriously very good. Mmm. It's actually okay just to sprinkle the coconut on the top. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you could just do that. Just sprinkle a little on the top. It works quite well. If you don't like coconut, leave the coconut out. Um, but that's really cool. It's, it tastes like a, an Anzac biscuit, but with a caramel center. It's seriously delicious. So I'm quite happy with that recipe. And... Um, I got all my ratios right, so even a bigger bonus. So I'll make sure that I write everything down in the description below. And I will also link the Anzac Biscuit um, video as well. Um, it's in the three dry mixes, pre-dry mixes that you make up and put on your pantry shelf. So I will link that as well. Very yummy. Give it a go. Um, you could get these ingredients anywhere, so it's not just um, not just about Anzacs um, being an Australian New Zealand thing. So, mm, got a bit of caramel stuck on my tooth. Delicious. Hope you give it a go. If you do, let me know in the comments. And um, thank you for joining me. Um, I know this one was a, a, a quick video, but I just wanted to share this because it's Anzac Day. For us um, Australians and Kiwis on the 25th of April so that's this week all right thank you for joining me yet again and I hope to see you on the next one take care for now bye